Well, I think, you know, for the African Union, we have to acknowledge that this is really the first time in the, since the founding of the African Union that a conflict started and in a, a short period of about five weeks, the African Union had a, a peace negotiations process going that actually brought a peace process to the table and, and got agreement. It has not held, but it, it was extraordinary that the African Union provided that leadership to be able to accomplish what, what hadn't you know, um, happened in, in really any conflict to date. So I think we've got to give them a bit of credit while we continue to push, because yes. you clearly have regional players, Uganda for one, mm -hmm. um, that are creating, that are contributing to the chaos, That's right? And, and they're not yeah. being good neighbors, yeah. right, to yeah. say the least. And again, we have to acknowledge that the U.S. is a key military ally of Uganda and continues to give Uganda military assistance. And so, you know, putting pressures all along the way, I think, would be an important element to be able to send the message that, that you know, this level of, of, of atrocities, particularly with so many people now being displaced and, and women being caught in the crossfire. And, you know, I think it is past time to put sanctions and, and, yeah. and send yeah. a really clear message that enough is enough.